In today's video, I will show you how to pair your Sony Radio Commander with one of their wireless flashes. Welcome back to The Breakdown. My name is Miguel Quiles, and today I'm gonna to show you step-by-step step how to pair this Radio Commander from Sony with actually their newest flash, which is the HBL F60RM flash. Now this process is gonna be the same for the 60RM as well as the 45RM flash, and, uh, but I'm gonna use the 60 for this demo and let's get started. Okay, so what we're looking at right now, we have on this side, this is the Sony Radio Commander. And this is basically going to be the trigger. I'm just gonna call it a trigger for the rest of this video just to keep things as simple as possible. But this is gonna be our trigger. This is what tells the flash when to go off. And for the flash, we have the Sony HVLF 60RM. This is their newest uh, radio control flash. And uh, so let's get this thing paired up. It's really, really simple. And let's start first by turning on our remotes. I'll turn the uh, screen here so that you guys can see the uh, backlight. And then we'll turn on our flash here as well. The first thing that I would recommend doing if you're going to pair these two devices up, and you don't really have to do this if you bought these brand new and you're pairing these for the first time, but if you tinkered with the menus or you did anything to change any settings, I would recommend to reset both devices before you start this pairing process, just to make sure that you didn't change anything that maybe uh, you might need to change later. So we'll start first with the remote control. In order to reset it, we're gonna press the uh, menu button here. We're gonna go over to reset. We're gonna select that and we're gonna hit okay. You're gonna see the word reset show up on your screen. That tells you obviously that the uh, remote has been reset. So now that this has been reset, we're gonna set the, uh, we're gonna actually reset the flash here. So we're gonna press menu and we're gonna go into the menu and we're gonna select reset in the menu. We'll hit okay. All right, so now both devices have been reset completely. We're gonna start this from scratch. Uh, this is basically the default setup. If you bought this and you're pairing it for the first time, this is basically what the uh, setup would be. So let us begin. Now that we've reset both devices, let us begin the process of pairing up these two devices. And it's super simple. First thing that we're gonna do is on our flash, and again, this is the same thing you're gonna do for the 45 and the 60RM, we're going to hit the function button on the back here. We're gonna arrow down to where it says WL off, or wireless off, and we're actually going to turn that on. So in order to turn that on, we just press the center button, and we will move over to RCV or receive, and we'll hit that center button, and that's going to confirm that the wireless is now turned on, and now it can communicate with this Sony Radio Commander. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to pair these devices, and in order to do that, we're gonna select the menu button on our Sony Commander, and we're gonna arrow over to where it says pairing. And from there, we're gonna hit that center button, and there's a selection or an option that says add, and we're gonna pick that. And as soon as you do that, it's gonna say waiting added zero. Now this is just letting you know that it's waiting to connect to another device. And obviously it hasn't found one, that's why it says zero. So we're gonna fix that. On our 60RM flash, we're gonna hit menu. We're gonna arrow over to where it says pairing. We're gonna do the same thing, it says start pairing. Now if you did not change it from WL off to the receive mode, the step that we just did, this is actually going to give you an error. As soon as you go into that pairing mode, it's gonna tell you that the wireless is turned off. So that's why I'm telling you, make sure that you turn it on first. It will save you a step. All right, so we're gonna select OK. And right away, you could see that it says it has been paired with a WRC1M, which is your radio commander. And you will also see on the remote here, you're gonna see it says added one. So these two are now paired up, and if you wanna test that, you can simply press this test button here. I don't know if you can see that in the video, but the flash is paired, they are going off. So we are set. Technically, this is ready to go. However, I'm gonna take this a step further. I'm gonna show you how to 
basically make it to where you can control the power levels with your remote control. So let's take a look at that. Now at this point, what we're gonna do is we're gonna press this menu button on the uh, radio commander. We'll press it one more time. This is gonna take us back to our main screen and we'll do the same on our flash. Now, what I would like to do, it's currently set to TTL. So obviously with TTL, uh, it's going to select our flash power automatically for us. And that's cool if you're shooting an event, if you're shooting a wedding or something of that nature, and you don't have the time to dial in your settings manually, you can use TTL and it works fantastic. For me personally, I like to have the control and the ability to be able to kind of change the power automatically or change it manually, I should say. And so I wanna show you how to do that. So what I'm gonna do is on this remote here, we're gonna press the function key and we're going to select this right now where it says TTL, and I'll turn this light back on. Um, right where it says TTL, we're gonna select that and we're actually gonna change this to group. So now that it's set to group, it's gonna be kind of useful because what we could do is we could actually control our flashes in different groups. So what does that mean? This flash that we're looking at right now is set to group A. Now let's pretend like I was, I don't know, let's say I'm shooting in the studio and I have, uh, this is my main light. I could set this main light to group A and let's say I had a hair light or some other type of light, maybe a fill light uh, that's coming from an additional flash. I could actually set those to different groups. So I could have a group B and a group C and a group D, and I could control individually each of those flashes or even groups of flashes, because maybe that hair light might actually be two lights. That's cool. You could put both of those two lights in the same group, and then from the remote, you can change the power for those groups at the same time just by changing it in the settings. It's pretty slick. But we only have one light today. It's gonna to be pretty easy. So we only have a group A, um, which is this flash here. So what we're gonna do is, and you can actually see if you're curious, Miguel, how, how is he figuring out that he's in group A? If you look on the bottom here, it says group A. So if you wanted to change that, you could do that. Um, if you hit the function key, you could actually select that group and you can change it anywhere from A to E. But we're gonna leave it on group A. And so what I wanna do is I wanna change this to where I can control the power of this flash from the remote. So in order to do that, what we're going to do is on the actual remote, we'll turn on the light again. You're gonna notice now we changed it to group and we're gonna arrow over and you see right now that group A is set into TTL mode. And we said we didn't wanna do that. We wanted to control it manually. So I'm gonna select I'll go back just so you can see that. So I'm gonna select where it says TTL on group A. And now you're gonna see all the modes for each of the different uh, groups. So I'm gonna select A, and I'm actually just gonna select manual for my mode. So at this point, group A is set to manual. It is one-to-one -one power. So if I flash this, this is gonna be at full power on group A. Now, if I want to change that, all I would have to do is just roll this wheel and you're gonna see that it's gonna change anywhere from full power all the way down to one one twenty eighth power, which is the lowest power of the flash. So I'm gonna put this to a quarter power. And at this point, our power for group A has been set, which is our main light here. Now, you might run into a situation where you might be trying to change your power on this group. And the very first thing that you have to make sure if something isn't working, if you change the settings and you're noticing that full power and one one twenty eighth power is like exactly the same, which should not happen. Chances are what's happening is that your flash is not set to command link. I'll show you how to fix that. If you go into your function menu here, you're going to arrow down to where it says level and it's currently set to command link. When it's set that way, you're good. That's actually what you wanna see if you're trying to control it manually because that means that from the remote, I have manual control. The commander is linked to the flash, which is why it says command link. However, let's say you wanted to override these manual settings or rather the settings that are coming from this remote. What you could do is you could actually roll the wheel and now you're noticing on the back of the flash, it doesn't say command link anymore. Uh, now it says 1 8th, 1 16th, so on and so forth. 
So I can manually dial in the power for this flash from the actual flash unit itself. It's gonna override the settings that are on the remote control. So you have two options. You could either set it to command link, and if you have it set here, you are going to actually set your power from the uh, Sony Radio Commander, or you could manually set your power settings here on the back of your flash. So there's two different ways. Sometimes what I have seen happen many times is people will have it set to half power on the flash, and if you try to change the power setting on the remote, it doesn't actually work because it needs to be linked to the remote in order for it to uh, be able to control the power. So that's it. That's how you set up your radio commander, your Sony radio commander with your Sony flashes. And again, the process is exactly the same with the 60RM, the 45RM, and if any other radio control flashes come out in the future, process is gonna be exactly the same. You're gonna pair the two devices up and they're ready to go. Hopefully you found this tutorial helpful. If you have any additional questions, leave them in the comments section below and I will definitely get around to answering them. While you're here, subscribe to Adorama TV. They have a ton of amazing content coming out all the time. Also check out the Adorama Learning Center where you can read more about photography and videography and all sorts of cool stuff. Uh, thank you so much for watching the breakdown today. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye everybody.